What is going on, folks? It's Alex here, and we are in Joliet, Illinois, on this very lovely cloudy day, and we are about to check out Rax Restaurant. Now, Rax was once a fairly big fast food chain, and it specialized in roast beef, kind of like Arby's. Uh, this was several decades ago, and it was really at its peak right before my time. And in the 90s, they kind of had an identity crisis because they were implementing a lot of different things, more than just roast beef. They had like taco bars and pizza. I mean, their menu was just, it was kind of all over the place. And um, it just, like I said, there was kind of an identity crisis with it. And then they launched, I believe it was in the early 90s, they launched this campaign called Mr. Delicious. And he was this monotone business looking guy that these were commercials, they were radio ads, they were animated TV ads. And these commercials had this monotone business, kind of Kelsey Grammer looking guy, uh, would do these commercials for racks. And it was full of adult innuendos and just, it, it was weird. I think it might have worked better today, but back then it was just kind of strange. And you can go on YouTube and look up these commercials and look up the documentary actually of how Mr. Delicious was conceived. It's all but obsolete now, but one of the few locations left in the United States is here in Joliet, Illinois. So we're gonna check this place out and see what it's like. So here we are right outside Racks, and you can look at the sign, it uh, advertises both chili and the endless salad bar. And uh, they were known for having buffet style bars uh, in the restaurant uh, in their peak kind of as time went on. And uh, there's probably a lot more people that could give more insight onto this restaurant than I can. I just kind of know the basics of the history. But um, yeah, I mean, according to Wikipedia, you know, the old reliable Wikipedia, its peak was in the 1980s, um, and then things kind of went down in the 90s, kind of what I mentioned with the whole Mr. Delicious campaign and whatnot. But yeah, let's go uh, check this out. So this is what we got here. We've got a regular beef and a gourmet salad and a soda thought about curly fries, but uh, thought I'd go a little healthier today. This is a look at the regular Rax roast beef, and they have um, horseradish sauce, a lot like horsey sauce from Arby's to go along with it. So, you know, again, you can see some of the similarities with Arby's, and just kind of as a note, I got this gourmet salad prepared because they're not doing any of the face stuff right now, probably because of COVID, so, you know, that's understandable. Actually pretty good. Beef is nice and thinly sliced. Okay, it tastes a lot like Arby's, and I, for one, like Arby's, so nice poppy seed bun. Gotta admit, not bad, not bad. It's definitely very old school in here, um, as you can see, but um, I kind of like it that way. It's kind of like a time warp. It's, it's very late 80s, early 90s looking like. The outside of the restaurant kind of looks like an old Wendy's. I mean, you see all the fast food restaurants now getting renovated into, my personal opinion, tasteless, classless, modern, bland buildings. But this, this has an old charm to it, and I kind of like it. All right, so I gotta say, I actually enjoyed my experience there. I know it doesn't seem like much. It seems like a typical old school fast food restaurant, but it was kind of cool just checking it out and looking at a restaurant that was once a pretty big chain before I was really even around and to go to one of the five remaining racks in this country. I'm glad I tried it. I really enjoyed my roast beef sandwich. So if you look up one of the five locations that are still remaining a racks and you have a chance to try to try it, I would try to give it a try. I mean, it's like I said, it's, it's kind of like a time warp. You go back and you see what fast food restaurants were pretty much like in the late 80s, early 90s. Like I, like I said before, a lot of these restaurants are getting renovated, whether it's McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, whatever. Uh, so if you want a little nostalgia, I would say go to your nearest racks if there is one near you. So uh, thanks everybody for watching. Be sure to subscribe and we will talk to you later.